Oh, and Billy Eichner, who plays Bobby, and Luke McFarland, who plays Aaron, join us this morning. It's such a thrill to have you here. Thank you so much. And um, we're just saying that Hollywood's first gay rom com. I are we actually having to say that sentence? 2022, and it's the first. I know it's strange. We've had a lot of you know queer gay indie rom coms over the years, but very few, if any, produced at this scale. Mm. You know, it's being made by Universal, so the same studio that makes Jurassic World yeah. and Fast and the Furious and Minions is making this gay rom com. So we're very excited to be a part of it. And something that you feel very proud to be a part of. Absolutely, yeah. I mean, it's always nice to be an actor. We want to play different roles, but when it's sort of close to your your heart, it feels particularly special. Yeah, and, and groundbreaking in that the, certainly the vast majority of the cast are from the LBGTQ plus environment. Yeah. They're from that community. It's real. Yeah. yeah, it's great. And we had such a good time. Everyone felt very grateful to be there. Mm -hmm. It was the happiest set I've ever been on. You know, everyone really wanted to take advantage of the opportunity because it's so rare. Yeah, you know? yeah. Well, it's very funny. Thanks. Um, very, very funny. Um, there are lots of, of parts of the movie that we certainly couldn't show at this time of the morning, <laughs> as you can imagine. Yeah. And I can, I can just visualize what it must have been like on set, mm -hmm. because I know there were moments where like, you just couldn't contain the giggles. Yep, and you totally. had to kind of act as boss again here, didn't you? <laughs> yes, we were yeah. filming a scene in particular. I remember um, it was where I confessed this sort of very private thing to, uh, to Bobby's character. And it was, it's a very strange kind of thing. You'll have to see the movie to see what it is. But I just kept on laughing every single time I was trying to tell about it. And Billy was like, you have to get it together. Yeah, <laughs> it's like, be professional. Be professional. Yeah. <laughs> but you didn't know each other before the movie, which in many ways kind of helped with the on-screen chemistry because it was very authentic, actually. You were almost getting to know each other on screen. Yeah, exactly. I think, you know, had we known each other, it might have been harder to conjure that feeling of, yeah. of discovering each other for the first time. So the fact that what was happening on camera was also happening a bit uh, off camera as well as we were getting to know each other. And I think that helped contribute to, like, the the spark there, the chemistry that we needed for the movie. Yeah. That's what so much of rom-coms are about, is two people falling in love. Of course, so We absolutely. were getting to know each other. Yeah. Well, um, Bobby's character um, it, you know, says in the movie, like, it was progressive to be alone. Very, you were very self-reliant. You were yeah. happy just getting on with things. Mm -hmm. And then Aaron got in your head. Yeah. And that really is, that's the foundation of that's this rom-com, isn't yeah. it, really? Yeah, what happens when two very self-reliant people who have both been putting love and intimacy at arm's length, you know, uh, sort of defining themselves by being emotionally unavailable. You know, what happens when two people like that unexpectedly fall in love for the first time? And that's the journey we go on in the movie. Yes, and there are lots of ups and downs in there. There are moments where things don't work and, you know, comes back. And mm -hmm. it, it's just, it's like every other rom-com. This is why it almost feels weird talking about it like it's groundbreaking yeah. because it shouldn't feel that way. Yeah. Exactly, yeah. And, you know, you don't sit down to write a gay rom-com or a historic movie. We just wanted to make a funny movie. Yeah. You know, we wanted to make a laugh out loud movie from start to finish, a reason for people to go to the movie theater and laugh with their friends, which we don't get very often anymore. Uh, so I'm already slightly giggling because I know the clip that we're playing behind us uh -huh. here. And it, it, when we constantly come to the, the table yes. at the museum without yes. giving it too much away to those who haven't watched, it's just so funny. Oh, good, it's good. really, really funny. And the yeah. battles within. Yeah. LGBTQ plus communities. Yeah, you know. we're not taking ourselves seriously yes. in this movie. It has some more serious, poignant moments, but for the most part, we're making fun of ourselves, we're making fun of each other, we're making fun of everyone, <laughs> you know, and that's the spirit of it. Yeah. How long has this been sort of rattling around this script in your mind? I started working on it with uh, my co-writer and our director, Nick Stoller, who came to me with the idea to do a gay rom-com about uh, a little over five years ago. Okay. Um, and so we've been at it ever since, and now it's opening here, and uh, we're so excited that it's opening, you know, it's been open in the States, and now it's opening all over the world. Mm -hmm. And that's really amazing to be able to bring this story about two gay adult men, this very funny moving story, and to be able to distribute it all over the world mm -hmm. is really incredible, I think. It's also really important, too. Um, we've seen a lot of gay movies that show the kind of suffering and the mm -hmm. struggle of being gay, and those movies are important and groundbreaking, and we love them, but this is kind of the other side of that, which is mm -hmm. we get a happy ending. Yeah, 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 yeah. absolutely. And some big name cameo appearances That's in right. there as well. Yeah. Really good. Deborah Messing. Deborah <laughs> Messing from Will & Grace is absolutely hilarious. <laughs> Hilarious. Brilliant. Yeah. Brilliant. It's Again. unlike Deborah Messing. It's unlike anything you've ever it's seen. It's the Deborah you kind of want to see, though. <laughs> yeah, exactly. She's you know fantastic. the one that's lurking underneath. She said it's the only time she's been able to curse on camera, <laughs> and she had so much fun doing <laughs> it. She did. And we have uh, 
I don't, I, I don't, I don't want to give it all away, but we have Ben Stiller and Amy mm -hmm. Schumer and Kristen Chenoweth, exactly. so many funny people. Uh -huh. yeah. yeah, really, really good. And Mariah Carey. Can't yeah. want, I mean, she's number one fan. She put on a screening for this movie. She did, yeah. Mariah um, has a song in the movie, and I'm a big Mariah fan. And uh, she uh, is a fan of a show I did called Billy on the Street. And Mariah, we knew we needed a great club song in the movie for the scene where our characters meet. So I reached out to Mariah to see if we could use one of hers. And uh, she loved the movie. And she hosted one of our first public screenings of it for Pride Month in New York. Uh, and, and she wore a dress that said bros on it that she had specially made, and it was incredible. Yeah, there we are. Yeah. <laughs> so amazing. Wow. Yeah. That's just the ultimate thumbs up, really, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, I mean, what more do you need? You do, that, that's it. That. Mariah yeah. is showing all of the love. Exactly. <laughs> um, thank you so much, guys. It's great to see you really funny movie right, and everyone you. needs to see this this yes. is the whole point yeah. everyone needs to yeah, see it's a movie this. for everyone it'll make everyone laugh a lot yeah it will it will uh bros is released this friday